Hello there YouTube. It is Finish It Friday. This is Michelle and I have a quick share for you. Yesterday on Think About It Thursday, I told you that I was going to try to complete a 6x9 mailer envelope mini that I had created using a Poet Spice tutorial with handmade papers and I showed you the blank journal and all of the stuff I'd been gathering for a month now in purple to hopefully put in the journal. Welp, I have a girlfriend picking me up to go to Vail for our church women's retreat this weekend so I did some major crafting today. So let me show you what I came up with. This is my finished journal. And again, you can see the petals in the paper. It's handmade paper. It's a six by nine mailer envelope. And I found this with some Michaels from the Michaels dollar bin, some twine. It was probably on one of those where all of the, all of the Ribbons and twines, etc., were uh, in the this cream color, and I really like it. Looks so natural because it looks like rope, and so I use that for the tie. I have a little flower collage here, very basic. Again, I didn't want to take away from the natural papers um, or the natural uh, fibers in the paper, so. That's the front. I did a pamphlet stitch and I showed you I had done eyelets um, already. Let's see if you look up. Woo! Peeky boo. There's the eyelets and my sewn in signatures. I have two. So I covered it with some stash lace. And then again, nothing on the back. It just really looks very natural and fresh. So let's open it up. Again, my girlfriend is on her way and when she honks, she's going to be ready for me to just roll out. So let's open it up and see. I had the, pack, the pocket, this first inside pocket done, and there was just that one flower. So I added a couple of blooms. It looked lonely by itself and a little bling. And then to the tag, I added a dollar store sticker there. To, it was kind of plain, so I did that. And then I also added a bling envelope I had made. These are in jewel, jewel tones. And they aren't clear that's why so it's not foggy that's just the paper so there's that here's the first signature um, each signature starts with the natural paper so you open it up and this page right here this was a card that I received in a swap bot swap and I just thought that was so pretty I knew that I would reuse it so the gifter wrote on the paper and told me I could then use the card later so that's what I did here it's a pretty card so then on this side I covered the inside of the gifted card with some cardstock some purple cardstock put a little um, lace trim at the bottom and this was another card that I received in a swap this owl and so when you open it up there are dollar store stickers here so this is a great journaling spot there plus a little owl it's great. This page here, this is some beet dyed. Yes, you heard me correctly, like the vegetable. When I was on my coffee dyeing kick, I had some beets that I had been juicing and I decided let's just see how this is going to go. And so it's really cool. There are variations. There's more uh, in later pages and you'll just see the variations in the color. But here's a beet dyed page. Great for journaling. Then when you open that up, this was a little piece of artwork. This is a stamp that I have. It's called Sweet Peas, and I was playing around with Tim Holtz Distress Markers, and so it looks like it's been watercolored, and it's a tuck spot, so there's just a tag there. This is just a sprayed um, piece of design paper. This is the inside piece, so it's white. The design that is on the other side, but I sprayed it with various shades of purple uh, glimmer mist and then I also sprayed it with some of my gold mist that I made uh, using 
Tamika on Scrap the World's tutorial for Glimmer Mist. So then the next page is just designer paper and again it's been sprayed. You can kind of see the little sparkle and shine there from my Glimmer Mist. This is another piece of the handmade paper. And then this, I rec recently got a fuse. So you know once you get a fuse you start playing and making all kinds of shakers. So this is one I had dried some pansies and I'm not sure what these little yellow flowers are but these were flowers that I found outside and I dried um, skills from back in Girl Scouting days and I put them inside of this little shaker so that looks real pretty there I like the purple flowers it really goes with that and then that's just a curly paper clip there so then on the other side you have the other side of the paper clip this is the the center of my signature. This is an envelope and the signature has been closed on the inside of here. You can see my little crafty sewing. Again, thank you Girl Scouting. That's where I learned how to do embroidery. That's why this pamphlet stitch isn't so foreign to me. So that hides the threads there. And here's the other side. Some more paper. And this paper is really easy to write. As long as you have like a sharpie or something, it really is easy to write on, so great place for journaling. Again, the design. This is the other side of that design paper, and here I have a paper clip embellishment. Thank you, Crafty Irina. So there's that on this page, and you flip it over. And because you want your embellishment to be pretty on the front and on the back, I add it to the back side of the paper clip um, two little roses and some fancy fibers and there's some more spray paper. This is again more beet dyed paper you can see the the variations in that and this sticker is from my dollar store stash on the other side of the paper. I just used some bond paper from the office. Here is the inside this is the other side of that uh, purple gift, gifted card and I sprayed it because it was just white and then this uh, little embelly here has a little story. There was a jar of seed beads with glue already on them. And this was way before I knew anything about mixed media. And so I bought the jar because I liked the color of purple, but didn't know what to do with it. So I had this little stamp, and so I just put it in the center. So anyway, those have been laying around, so I decided to go on ahead and add it to this journal. Here's the other side of that card. I went on ahead and put some more purple cardstock, a little flower cluster here, and then this tag here has been sprayed with glimmer mist. The doorbell's ringing. My girlfriend's here, so let's keep keep it moving. So then here are some natural papers, and I'm going to pause and answer the doorbell. Alrighty, so let's continue on. Here we have, so this is the second signature here, and again it starts with the natural papers, and then you open up, and here's just a piece of cardstock that has been um, trimmed with uh, border punch, and then this is a little hanger embellishment. I used to get these uh, white shirts that the label was Ravel, and this little white, it's almost like a little mini handkerchief came with it so I made a little embellishment with some a more of that purple lace trim and then I put some of the rosette trim over it and the last time I made one of these I just made it for cutes this time I actually made it it's useful hey it's a tuck spot so just tucked a little tag in there let's flip to the next page um, just for some interest, we've got some birds on a wire and they've been sprayed with various glimmer mists. Here's a page of that beet paper and this was a journaling sheet that I also put through. And it's really interesting depending on when I put the paper in, it just was different colors. I think this I rinsed because I wasn't too sure when I was first starting out with the beet paper, with the beet dye, what it was going to do to the paper. So it's a little bit lighter. but. Um, Here's this sheet, and then there's more um, journaling spots on the second sheet. But see how the, the color from here to here really was really definitely an interesting experiment. So this is a page of Tsunami Rose. Um, this is from a journal, 
kit that I had purchased from her. And then on this side, I just sprayed the other side of that paper. It was on, I printed it on manila. And so I sprayed it with different colors of pink and purple. Some more natural paper. Here's the center of this signature. So here's the other side of that Tsunami Rose printout. And here is another one of my attempts at using distress markers. And this one came out pretty good. This stamp is actually an iris stamp. And it's got splatters and distressed, but it is a tuck spot. So I can show you that. It's just a, so it's a tuck spot there. And then there's the back of that Tsunami Rose. And then here's this piece. Look at how dark this paper is. So pretty. So that's Beats. It's a, it's a natural dye, so I thought I'd try it. So here we have a dollar store sticker. And then inside of this little mini fold, I've got two pieces of Ephemera's Vintage Garden notes. This came out as a freebie, I think a week ago. And so it, was, it had to-do list and then notes. So I just stuck those, distressed them and stuck them in these pockets here. And there's the back side of that paper. Just the coloring is fabulous. And so then there's another dollar store sticker. We have some more birds on a wire on the back of that purple sheet there. And this is just plain great for journaling. Um, I love using gold, silver, and copper colored pens. So this will be really pretty with uh, metallic markers. And here's the last sheet of the second signature there. And then for fun in the back, I adhered this organza little baggie. So it'd be great to put like a gift card or something for the person who's going to get the journal. And then I had already put some cardstock in to fortify the pocket. And what I decided the last time I used this to close that and I had an alligator. Well, this time I was smart. I decided to use the lip of the envelope or the bib or the actual sealing part as the, the closure. So what I did, because I knew this paper is really flimsy, I put a piece of Tyvek um, from a mailing envelope. I glued that down and then took another piece of uh, pattern of the handmade paper and put over it so that this would be really sturdy. And as it was drying, I kind of curved it so that it goes around like this. And then this goes around twice this away. This goes once this away. And you tie it. And it is done. So, I hope you like this week's Finish It Friday share. I'm really excited because this is really helping me and spurring me on toward love and good deeds and finishing those projects that have been sitting around just waiting for me to complete them. Hope everyone's having a great Friday. I'm heading up to the mountains. I am fired up. Church retreat, uh, all the women are going, the men are keeping the kids, and my team gets to stay with some of her girlfriends, so it'll be a great weekend for all. See you next week. Bye.